Amen. Praise God. Let's worship the Lord this morning. The reason we are excited is because we know we serve a Savior who is risen and He is living amongst us. He's not a dead God. He's alive. Even as Paul said, to know Him and the power of His resurrection. After many years, Paul, he still said, that's what I want to do. I want to know Him and the power of His resurrection. The power of God can bring the dead to life. Whatever the devil has tried to bring death and destruction, the word of God can just, when you speak words of faith into that dead situation, it can turn it around and resurrect and bring life into that. That's the power of the word of God. It works. The scripture tells us that the Lord, he confirmed his word with signs following. He worked with his disciples. He, you know, when they thought that they were going to be left alone, he said, I'm not leaving you alone. I've come to live on the inside of you. Amen. And, he's, and, the, and the scripture says, I believe it's in, I believe it's probably in Mark where it says, the Lord was working with them. You know, without God working in us, we can't do anything. Mm. But when we depend on the knowing that he works in us, we will know it's not our strength. It's his strength that works in us. So we're going to start by proclaiming from the book of Philippians that we are filled with the fruits of righteousness. What are these fruits of righteousness? Well, when God comes to live in us, he gives us a new nature. It's called righteousness. And from that nature, we see how there are new characteristics that he inbuilds into us. He teaches us how to walk in love. He teaches us how to walk in patience and walk in in health and prosperity and all these fruits of righteousness begin to work in us because God doesn't call us to live a dead life he wants us to be fruitful in him and Jesus also said the more we when we abide in him we will bring forth much fruit in fact he said we can't do anything without him and so as you walk in him and you 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 talk with him he, he brings you to that place where you're a fruitful tree not a dead tree you're living a life full of every good blessing that he has for you and that's what we're going to say in this song in Christ I have healing in Christ I have redemption in Christ I have everything I need see God didn't put us on this earth to live just a dead life for ourselves. he called us to live for his glory and to manifest himself on this earth so this song is a declaration saying Lord I am filled with the fruits of righteousness Righteousness is your nature God's put in you. And from that nature, He enables you to bring forth good fruit in your life. Healing, prosperity, wisdom, all these flow from the nature that you have on the inside of you. And that's what we're going to sing and say, I am filled with all the good fruits of righteousness. Praise God. And all of you joining us online, we're so glad that you're here. You can sing along with the lyrics on the screen. We pray that you will be blessed and you will be ministered today. And moreover, more importantly, there is no distance in the word. There is no distance in God's spirit. He can reach you wherever you are. And I pray today that the Lord will speak to you and comfort your heart and strengthen you. So join us and be encouraged. Praise God. Let's rejoice in Him. Singing from the book of Philippians, I am filled with the fruits of righteousness. Let's rejoice. Show. 
praise God. Let's declare and say it together. The Lord is my helper. The Lord is my helper. I will not be afraid. I will not be afraid. What can man do unto me? What can man do unto me? The Lord is the strength of my life. The Lord is the strength of my life. And I will not be afraid. And I will not be afraid. Amen. The God says in his word not to fear. And we've got nothing to fear when he's on our side. You've got angels surrounding you. You've got God Almighty, the creator of the universe inside of you, so there's nothing to fear. Amen. Let's continue praising him. The Lord is our helper.
you can be free in his love everybody let's say that together i'm free in his love i know i'm free in his love i'm free in his love he doesn't bind us i'm free in his love Celebrate your freedom in Him. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Glorify your name. Glorify your name. Glorify you. I just want to thank you for your freedom. There is no bondage in the presence of the Lord. There's only perfect peace in Him. There's only perfect peace in Him. He doesn't bind us. He doesn't keep us as slaves. The spirit that you have in him is not a spirit of bondage again to fear. Oh, hallelujah. We're free in the love of God. We're free in the love of God. Thank you, Lord. We thank you, Jesus. Oh, we just want to thank you. Oh, we just want to praise you, Lord, for everything that you've done for us. Hallelujah. Glorify your name. And I just want to thank you, Lord. I just want to praise you, Lord. I just want to thank you, thank you for everything you've done for me. I just want to thank you, Lord. And I just want to praise you, Lord. I just want to thank you, thank you for everything you've done for me.
so much that we can be grateful for. In fact, we see how when Jesus healed those 10 lepers, only one man came back to say, thank you for the healing that he had received. You know, Jesus does so many things for us and it's important that we have a grateful heart and say, Lord, I'm just so thankful for what you've done for me. The children of Israel missed it in this area. Every time the Lord did something for them, they just were never, they 
well they celebrated they rejoiced but then they forgot any time they faced another difficult situation instead of saying lord thank you that you helped us before and you're going to help us again instead of doing that they complained and they murmured and that's why they went round the mountain for 40 years but when we come to the place where we realize complaining never leads us anywhere it just takes us round the same mountain over and over again we can be around the same problem but when we come before the lord with our needs and we say lord i thank you that you supply my needs i can look at this need not with complaining and murmuring but i look at it saying lord i thank you you're my supplier i thank you that you are my healer because the devil will want you to complain and murmur about what has not happened what is still delaying but you tell the devil you resist him and you say devil you get out in jesus name i'm going to be thankful for what the lord has done for me and moreover what he is still doing in my life hallelujah we're going to sing this song before we listen to the word a song that brother howard used to sing during his sermons he paid a debt he did not owe i owed a debt i could not pay the debt that we had we could not pay for our salvation we couldn't pay for our redemption we couldn't pay to become a son of god the son of man had to come and pay that debt for us and he came and paid that debt he in fact the scripture says in philippians that he humbled himself and came to this earth he didn't need to but he he put aside his majesty and he came and humbled and said i'm going to pay that debt the curse that came upon the world through adam's disobedience jesus said i'm going to pay that debt with my blood and once and for all with his blood he paid it for us that's why we sing about the blood of jesus because it never gets old things in this life will get old but the blood of jesus will never lose its power it's never going to get old and you can sing all the day long that you are free you know i like to think of it like this when they brought jesus and barabbas and they were standing there and pilate was wanting to free one of the prisoners we see how when barabbas was set free just imagine the feelings that he would have had i don't need to pay that debt i don't need to go to the go to the whipping post i don't need to go and down the cross he must have been rejoicing with joy though he was the one who was supposed to be there because he was a murderer but when he was set free just think about the joy he would have had to be free because someone else was taking his place that's the way that we ought to see ourselves in christ he paid the debt so i can go free hallelujah he paid that debt of salvation freedom so you can be free in him hallelujah let's thank him for doing that He paid a debt. He paid a debt. He did not owe. I owed a debt. I could not pay. I needed someone to wash my
redemption is paid for. My healing is paid for. Hallelujah. Glorify your name. Glorify your name. Reach out and receive right now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. You can receive your healing in this place right now. Be free in the presence of the Lord. Glorious name, hallelujah, praise the Lord, hallelujah. Glorify your name, we glorify you. Hallelujah, let's make some declarations, some healing declarations. We're going to declare what God has already done for us, what He's already paid for. We don't need to try to earn it. We can just say, Lord, I receive it by faith. So let's declare it together. Lord, I thank you. That by the stripes, by the stripes you, bore you bore on your body, on your body I, am I am healed from the top of my head to the sole of my feet. I call my body healed and made whole in Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. You, have you have restored health unto me, unto me. and healed me, healed me of all my wounds. I receive your power, receive your power. That, is working in me, that is working in me, destroying, destroying every, yoke every yoke of bondage. Of bondage. Now, I now I believe that I am free, that I'm free. Not, someday in the future, not someday in the future, but right now, right now I am healed, I am healed and, set free and set free in Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Look at your neighbor and say, we are free in Jesus. We are free Hallelujah. In Jesus. Glory to God. Amen.